What's up, boys and girls? I'm Icarus. Today we're gonna take a look at a little pot that I have. And not that kind of pot. It gets your mind out the gutter. This kind of pot, which is a simple pot that I actually made myself. Uh, not nothing. And the reason I'm doing this video is because my girlfriend always tells me, You need some plants in your room. Everything's white, black, and gray. Plants turn your carbon dioxide into oxygen for your brain so you don't pass out while you're building Lego. She doesn't actually say that, but you get the point. We need some decorativeness, some decorations in this room. But here's the problem with that. I have zero windows in my Lego room, so there's no natural sunlight. And also, I have kind of an infamous history of forgetting to water my plants. So I thought, Lego plants don't need sunlight. Lego plants don't need water. So that's why we're here today. I'm gonna start with a super simple design based on some real succulents that I've seen before. I don't know what they're called, but they're like these little green bud things. And I thought Lego's Minecraft flower part would be perfect for the shape of these things. So I'm just gonna stack a few of those along with these smaller flower parts to give it some more variety. And I'm gonna do a few taller ones just to get some height variation. So now that we have our little planty bit, I need some way to build the soil with Lego. The way I'm gonna do that is just use a whole bunch of tiny little brown one by ones, and that'll simulate the look of soil. Oh yeah, great idea, Isaac. Dump them all out on the floor. I don't have enough to fill up the entire pot, so I'm gonna add this big disc part, which is almost the perfect size to fit into the shape of the pot, and that'll just block all of the dirt from falling into the bottom. Then I'm just gonna take a stack of colorful bricks that you're never gonna see, put that on the bottom, drop it into my pot, and then dump the Lego dirt on top of it. There we go, now we have a cute little house plant, succulent, whatever you wanna call it, that you can use to display on your shelf, in your room, wherever you want to. So this is all fun and all, but what if I want a plant that's a little more interesting, something that doesn't really exist in real life? Cause this looks realistic, but it's a little bit boring. So let's try something else using these special pieces that I have from a relatively recent recent city explorer sub theme. These are actually specifically designed to look like a Venus flytrap, which is perfect for what I'm gonna build. So let's do that. Okay, we have our little grabbers here so they can eat bugs. And typically when these were used in sets, they were used with this type of pin, which is frictionless so that the jaws were really easy to open and close. But we want a little bit more posability than that. So we're gonna use this type of pin, which actually has some friction. Use that to connect the two jaws. Now what I wanna do is put this little red piece in here. It kind of looks like a tongue and it just blocks the mouth from closing completely. And then I'm gonna put a little spider inside just to give him a little snack. Next, I'm gonna start building the stem. So I'm gonna put a part that's lime green to match the Venus flytrap. But instead of just a straight neck, I want one that'll actually bend so that his neck can curve. So I'm gonna slide this piece which is like a bendable flex tube type piece. And then I'll continue sliding the next segments on that, but not connecting them all the way so that they'll still be able to bend. Block via. Then I'm just gonna slide on a base that was specifically made so that it would have a hole all the way through so that flex tubing can continue down and put these little assemblies on so that it can have some leaves connected to them. And I'm just gonna put those leaves on those hinges so that they flow outward in a natural looking way. I'm going to slide a dish on there so that the soil doesn't fall through, similar to the last build. And then just a few other random bricks to hold the whole thing up. Okay, let's try it in the pot. It fits nicely. Now all we gotta do is add some of our soil. And just like that, we have our lovely looking piranha plant waiting for his next meal to devour. I like this as a shelf decoration much better, but just like the last one, it doesn't require water, sunlight, or any sort of attention, and it'll just look this green for the rest of its life. Okay, let's try one more plant. Let's build a bonsai. bonsai! Now I wanna make this one special, so I'm not just gonna make any old bonsai. I'm gonna make a cherry blossom bonsai. Now thankfully, I have a bunch of pink flowers from my friend's face that I can use to deck this thing out with cherry blossoms. Flowers from my friend's face. Fla flowers from my friend's face. 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 Phase. So I'm just gonna cover some regular old Lego branches in a bunch of those little flowers and then put them on this cool piece which looks just like a bonsai tree branch. It's super curved and a nice dark brown color as well. I'm gonna put all of my pink blossoms on those branches, stack them up on some more dark brown just to look like a nice old bonsai trunk and sort of layer them and make them flow. Now I'm gonna build another brown base and stick that on top. One fun way I'm gonna spruce this one up is add a few other little viney roots connected to that base. Then all we need is our dish to block the soil from falling down, a stack of random colored bricks to hold the thing up, and then we can drop it in the pot. 
Okay, that looks really cool. Let's try it with some soil. One other cool thing we can do with this is drop some more cherry blossoms in the soil to make it look like they've fallen off. Alrighty, I think the bonsai looks pretty much perfect. And that wraps up today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments which of the three house plants you would love to have in your house. I hope this inspired you to build some cool decorations for your room. And I hope that if you enjoyed this video, you'd consider subscribing. Anyway, that's it for now. See you guys in the next one.